Hi, it's me, Graham. Looks like things are really gonna slow down for me now that zero fatalities has come to Iowa. Once people start taking responsibility for their driving, my numbers are gonna take a really big hit. So I've had to join the workforce. Yes, ma'am, I can transfer you over. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm new at this. I miss crashes. I mean, why do people have to be responsible for their actions? I've been counting on those drowsy drivers, the ones who don't believe in wearing seat belts, the buzz drivers, the aggressive drivers, oh, <laughs> and the cute little ones who think they can multitask. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> they really can't. <laughs> but once people realize they should care about how they drive two ton chunks of metal hurtling down the roads, it's over for me. Then I'll be stuck here making spreadsheets for Steve. No, no, where did that column go? So why not help a guy out? Sure, Zero Fatality's mission is to keep people safe, but by practicing these five bad driving habits, you can bring the highways back into the horrific death traps I know and love! <laughs> Jim, I need those projections. It's grim, sir. Angel of death, harvester of souls. Seriously? Yeah, driving responsibly and accepting the fact that you can't text and drive, speed, drive after drinking, or when you're tired, I'll keep you and your loved ones, you know, alive. But this whole goal of zero deaths on the road is, it's out of hand. I'm not cut out for the nine to five. I keep losing my key card and someone keeps stealing my lunch. Learn how to keep Graham off Iowa's roads at zerofatalitiesiowa.com.